Mr. Merkid here and today I'm going to be showing you how to save text box text for your program. Um, so what this does is, for example, if I was to type in this text box here, close the program and reopen it, the text box would be blank because that's how everything is by default. But what, after this video we're going to be saving the text so you could shut it, reopen it and the text that you entered before you shut it will be loaded back up again. Uh, this is especially useful if you need to save text or you don't want to lose something. So, yeah, let's get started with this. I'm going to be showing you how to do it on the stressor here because I've got four little text boxes, so that would be a good example. Um, but the same method that I'm going to be showing you works for everything. So you don't have to do text boxes. You can use it on anything. Uh, I'll show you that as we go along. <laughs> Um, so what you want to do is you want to click on the text box that you would like to save and you just want to come down into the properties here and go down to application settings and when you hover down you'll see property binding and you can click the three dots to browse and you'll see in here we've got all the properties for this text box which we can actually save using application settings um, so obviously we want to just save the text so we can click this and come down and you'll see that I've already got text box 1 because I was doing this um, earlier on but uh, you you should have nothing it should just say none so if if that's the case you just want to press new and then all I did was type text box 1 in here and I pressed OK and then you'll see it here that's all you want to do um, so yeah like that and you press OK and what this does you'll, you'll notice that down here it's changed to text box 1 uh, in the application settings we can shut that off and if we come down to text box 2 well it's 24 but I'm just going to call class it's 2 for this and we come down and we've got to do the same for the rest so we can come down into this one oops and you can see text box 1 will be there but we don't want to use the same one we could use the same one but if we did both text boxes would save the same text from both which we don't want so we need to create a new one for each unless of course you want to use the same text for two text boxes press ok save that one and I'll quickly just do the last two here and I'll just make this one to number three actually I'll leave the last one to show you um, that the last one will not work anymore so press ok on that and if you you know it's worked because if you can come up you'll see the text it has the little it has a little pink square here now and it'll tell you it's bound to application setting now none of this will work because we haven't actually say we're not saving the setting so if you double click your form and come into the form load function you'll see we've got load up here if you click down this list you want to find form closing so you find form closing and you'll double click it and it will generate the form closing sub for us. So inside here we just want to say my.settings.save like that. So basically when the form's getting closed, all the settings get saved and then when it's loaded again, we don't have to say my.settings.load because it does it on itself uh, in the loading function. <coughs> Uh, also, there's many things you can do with my.settings. If you just type my.settings there, you can see a list of what you can do. You can get certain things. So you see the three text boxes we created are there, there now, and you can do certain things with those in particular. And yeah, there's just a couple of things you can do with settings other than save. So I'm just going to remove that line and put that bracket there like that. So we can launch this up now, and I'll show you it. Um, the reason it takes a while to load is because we are doing the check if you watched the previous video uh, So it requires some internet and loading to do first So just forget about that um, So come into our little stressor thing here um, This would be the IP so we can just make up an IP This would probably be the port uh, This would be the method And this will be the time let's just say 60 and that, that would be that. Say we wanted to save the IP and all the methods and stuff. Now I don't have to even press save or anything, I just close the tool like that and I'll load it back up. 
Now what this will do, this will save all our text when we shut that and when we load it back up now it will have it already loaded for us. So if we go back into that tab you'll see this save, this save and this save but this one didn't because obviously I left that one blank to show you that this one doesn't work. So you see these three saved now and that's it for that's really it for the text um, you can do it for everything in your form so if you wanted to save the label you see how a label flashes you could save the label color you just come into application settings like this you'll go into the property binding and instead of text you want to come up to the for color and you create new and you can pick the color and give it a name and stuff and that is how you'll do it for the label. So you can save absolutely everything using application.settings. Um, so yeah, that's really all I wanted to show you. If it did help you, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time.